Hi there, I'm Michael Giblin with FiddlerShop.com and today we're talking about electric instruments, amplifiers, pickups, differences between passive and active pickups, trying out some different scenarios to find out if it'll work or is it whack? A passive pickup like the one on this Yamaha YEV just means that there's no battery that you need to change or charge that you can go directly from the instrument to an amplifier. And if you're using a guitar style amplifier like this, you're good to go. It works. The YEV is actually even uh, interesting because it has a volume control on the instrument, which a lot of passive pickups don't even have. Many times people with a passive pickup like to use a preamp because for one, it boosts the signal, gives it a little bit of a stronger signal to send to the amp, but it also gives you volume control, tone control, and other like feedback, mitigation controls that's closer to you so that you don't have to run over to the amp every time you wanna turn up the volume or turn it down. And all the times if the amp is far away or a soundboard is far away, you don't have any controls. So preamp gives you those controls much closer to you. Active pickup, like the one on this tower strings violin, means that there's a battery that you usually have to either replace or recharge if it's not accessible. But then you have a power source on the instrument, and it means it sends a stronger signal to the amplifier. Active pickups usually have a volume control and a tone control right on the instrument. So you don't have to use a preamp because you have these controls right at your fingertips but you certainly can still use a preamp to use the more robust features of a preamp. All right, so I have my active pickup going directly into my amp and it works. But what if my battery dies? If I take out the battery, that's whack. I even found this dead nine volt battery to see if maybe that made a difference. Still whack. Okay, but what if I went active pickup with a dead battery Preamp amplifier. What do you think? Still whack. Let's talk about silent practicing for a second. Now, every electric violin still produces some sound. It's not a whole lot of sound. It's about the equivalent of using a metal practice mute with an acoustic violin. But you can definitely still hear it, and it works great for practicing late at night. But some electric instruments have a headphone jack where you can plug your headphones directly into the instrument and hear sound coming through your headphones. It works! It's not a lot of sound coming through the headphones, but it definitely sounds amplified, and you have the added benefit of the ambient noise of your surroundings being reduced because you're wearing headphones. What about with a passive pickup? Well, you probably will still need an adapter to change the quarter inch jack in your instrument to an eighth inch jack in your headphones. That even then, is why you fail. Nothing. That's whack. What if I went from my passive pickup into a preamp and then out to my headphones? And the answer is, yeah, I can hear some sound coming through my headphones. Again, it's not a whole lot of sound. It's about the equivalent as the active pickup because both the active pickup and this preamp are both powered by just a nine volt battery. So it's not a whole lot of sound, but you can definitely hear something. What if I plug my active pickup into some computer speakers like you might find in your office? Ooh. Yeah, that works. Although why you would want to play violin in your office is beyond me. All right, but what if I take my passive pickup? Again, I'm gonna need the adapter to go from the quarter inch jack there to the eighth inch plug. Plug it all in. I don't hear anything. survey says, oh no, that's whack. All right, what about amplifying using a home theater style amplifier? For this, I have a special cable. I've got the eighth inch jack that I'm gonna plug into my active pickup. And then I have this uh, stereo red and white RCA cable that I'm gonna plug into the back of this amplifier. And I can crank up the volume. Yeah, it works. Let's double check it with the passive pickup. Again, I need the adapter, but you might have the right cable to not need that. Oops. Turn it on. Yeah, it also works. 
Let's talk about recording. I'm gonna plug my active pickup directly into my computer. And I'm just gonna go into GarageBand. And oh yeah, that definitely works. No interface at all, just directly into the computer. Let's double check it with the passive pickup. Oh yeah, definitely works. So the beauty of that, of course, is then you can use all the pedals and effects and sound effects, all that stuff that's in GarageBand without an interface. It works. Can you use your car to amplify your violin? Well, here I am in the Prius Life. I got my cable connected to the auxiliary in, and I get a little bit, and I have my volume all the way maxed out. Just a little bit. Eh, kinda whack. So now I've got the passive and it surprisingly, it actually makes more sound than the active pickup. So that doesn't really make any sense, but it works. What about recording to an iPad or an iPhone? Can I just take my cable and plug it into the headphone jack? I'll save you a step and let you know. No, that's whack. What you need is an interface, and there are some that are made by like iRig or some other companies. This interface plugs into the headphone jack, and then the quarter inch cable plugs in here, and then you can also monitor what you're playing with the headphone jack there. Now you can record yourself using GarageBand or the iRig app, and you can hear what you're playing and use all the effects and stuff that you have in those apps. <laughs> It works! With a passive pickup. Also works! Well, that was fun. Thanks for watching this far. I hope that was helpful and that you learned something. I certainly didn't expect recording to the computer to work that easily. Uh, with that said, I would just like to add the disclaimer that your mileage may vary because working with electric instruments and computers and amplifiers and all this stuff, there's so many little points for failure along the way. I would suggest if you're having trouble or having problems, start with the little things first, like these little connectors. Um, a lot of times these, these little things can fail or cables have shorts. So start with the little things and make sure those are all really securely connected um, before exploring the bigger and more expensive options. If you can borrow something from a friend or take your instrument to like a guitar center or some other kind of, usually a guitar kind of shop that has lots of amplifiers and cables and stuff, maybe you can just uh, figure out what the problem is by you know, testing it with some, uh, something else before you know, having to buy a new amp or having to buy a new computer or having to buy a new instrument or, or all these things. So uh, with that said, thanks so much for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you again at fiddlershop.com. I hope that was informative and helpful. Yeah, if you want to buy this product, just click right up here. Right there. Do it. There, we do would it. also love it if you subscribe to our channel so we can keep in touch. It's right over there. And if you want to learn more about us, click right here. Bye bye, Philly Shop. <laughs>